Now, the private equity industry invested around $190 billion in 2008. That's down 40% uh, compared to 2007, according to a report from IFSL. It comes as buyout firms struggle to access credit in order to finance multi-billion leveraged deals. Joining us for more is Marco Maslakovic, Senior Economist at IFSL. No surprise, really, that we've got global private equity deals down, is it? I, 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 suppose, I suppose what we're interested in is... Um, whether the access to funding has improved at all in, in, you know, in the last few months. Yeah. Well, 2008 was a challenging year for private equity firms. On the one side, uh, the investments that they've already made, the, the firms have been affected by the global economic downturn, so profitability is down, and it's become more difficult to realize or exit these investments. And on the other side, as you say, it's become more difficult to obtain bank loans uh, to finance uh, large deals, uh, particularly large uh, buyouts. Is that... Is that changed at all in the last, you know, as we've had this sort of equity rally from March and, and sort of more risk appetite, particularly in the last two months, has that changed at all, the secondary sort of market? Uh, well, not, not really. I mean, as you say, there's been a 40 percent decline in 2008, and actually the first half of 2009, there was only about $25 a billion invested on the global uh, private equity market, which is a 12-year low, and it's down 80 percent in the same period in, to, in 2008. So it hasn't, uh, credit is not available at the moment. Uh, and going forward, I think uh, these private equity funds may have to turn to alternative sources of funding. What, where? Uh, well, the, it could be any number of sources. I mean, it could be bond markets. It could be non-traditional sources. It could be sovereign wealth funds. Uh, they could become bigger participants in this market. Because I would have thought, actually, that the beginning of this year sort of um, would have been the time that your private equity would be the time, the, the point in the cycle when you'd want to start being able to buy, but they'd already spent all their cash, had they? Uh, well, not, well, not really. I mean, actually, a recession is a good starting point for investments because uh, uh, companies are going to be affected by... They're going companies to be in, are selling off the units they don't want, exactly, uh, etc., etc., et yeah. They're going to be in need of restructuring. That This is where private equity firms come in. And actually, there is some $2.5 trillion on the management by the private equity industry, and this is up 15% in 2008. Uh, now, this is because... Uh, the year was relatively strong for fundraising, for new funds raised. Uh, but also, in a way, it's, it's sort of inflated because uh, private equity firms are, are unwilling to uh, realize their, their investments at the moment, uh, which is sort of propping up, uh, up, up the figure. So at the moment, about 40% of this $2.5 trillion figure is sort of free capital, which could be used to, to prop up existing investments or for new investments. Um, just two observations, Marco. Uh, the first observation is that, yes, bank finance for private equity remains tight. And yeah. I think it's going to remain tight. I don't see any major return of banks financing LBOs. Uh, but, uh, obviously, for private equity, uh, given the improvement in credit spreads, given the improvement in equity markets, this is now a very good opportunity for private equity to switch its source of financing. And I would have thought that the improvement in capital markets underpins the private equity market over at least the next one to two years. Uh, my second observation is that, you know, last year I was very cautious indeed on potential returns in private equity and very worried about the impact of deleveraging on the private equity industry. I would argue now that we actually have got some very interesting opportunities for investors to go back into private equity. Um, and we all know that private equity typically has a time lag of six months to one year with the publicly listed markets. But do you agree with me that now is the time for investors like ourselves and uh, to, to go back into the markets? Uh, well, I think we are, yeah, we are approaching that point. Uh, uh, I mean, as, as the global economy sort of starts to, to recover increasingly, it, the opportunity will, will sort of uh, become better for, the, for these companies. But, I mean, there, there, there's a wealth of opportunities out there at the moment. Uh, uh, and also, I mean, one, one segment of the private equity market which is picking up is the secondary market for, for private equity investments, yes. which is uh, the market where private equity firms purchase holdings of other private equity firms. And that's, it's actually reached uh, record levels in the first six months of this year. Uh, so going forward, this market should pick up as well. So I think we will see an increase in activity going forward. So, so the restructuring of some of the LBOs, I mean, how, how does that look? How has the nature of it changed? We, we see that the levels are, are down dramatically. We just saw that on, on our screen. But how does the restructuring look? And, and also, what, what are the sectors that you see the most opportunities? Uh, well, I think going forward, uh, 
I, th I think uh, the, the, the industry will be dominated by uh, smaller buyouts and, and there will be less leverage uh, involved. And for example, one trend that we've seen is that the companies, are, uh, private equity firms are inc increasingly purchasing minority stakes in, in firms rather, rather than majority stakes, which makes it more difficult to sort of push through operational changes that they want. But I mean, this is a consequence of, of, of the current uh, market conditions. Uh, Just think about how the exit strategy fits into that as well. I mean, if, if, if you're seeing that, whether that changes the nature of how you actually get out of some of these deals too. Uh, I think it is, it is very, very difficult, the exit environment at the moment. Uh, I mean, the exits in 2008 were down one half on, on the previous years. But again, going forward, uh, I mean, these companies are using their excess funds under management at the moment to prop up uh, their current uh, investments. But going forward, they will uh, need to increasingly realize their investments, uh, whether that's through direct sales uh, through flotations in the equity market, uh, I mean, it depends on the company. I, I can't help thinking how long it will be before the politicians again turn their sights back to private equity and complain about their oh, pay. Well, happen. And I mean, and, and we're probably in for a round of <coughs> hedge funds as well. While there we're they were. There there they were. So as soon as they got in front of the Treasury Select Committee, they, it was all over for them, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> it's just, no, it's a cyclical sign, you know. Yeah, I would actually say that the uh, the hedge fund industry is doing a very good job Keep of trying to, uh, number one, that, but number two, actually rolling back the proposed restrictions on the hedge mm. funds uh, from the European Union. And uh, the problem for the hedge funds is actually not individual US or UK no. governments. It's actually the proposed legislation Well, that's a very serious threat, EU. isn't it? Well, the restrictions the on, on well, it is mm. a threat for hedge funds, I actually think, that are throughout the whole of Europe. But I would argue that uh, the hedge fund industry is actually would that managing to, hedge to roll funds that. in Switzerland? Uh, it would apply to hedge funds in Switzerland where they want to sell their hedge funds to investors in the European Union. So it doesn't matter where your hedge fund right. is, it's it restricts you your ability to provide your investment service to European Union investors. Okay, uh, Bob, uh, you stick around. Marco, we'll let you go. Good to see you. Thanks, Thanks very much, much. Steve, for joining us. Marco Maslakovic, Senior Economist at IFSL.